I room with one of my best friends from high school and don't do that. Just, <laughs> uh, he left ice cream on the floor upside down for four days and left the taco pizza like on our shelf and it got rotten and bugs in it. So I actually moved out, um, after about three months of living with him. But I think like you're going to have roommate troubles most likely. And my only tip is just don't be afraid to move out and use the campus uh, housing system to find another room if there's one open because you don't have to subject yourself to that. How did you deal with it when you were living with your, you know, former best friend or you guys could still be best friends? I don't know who would be after the ice cream incident, but do you approach him? Do you say something? Do you just clean it up? I'm a pretty assertive person, so I will definitely say something, but I think I was also the person who cleaned it up in the end. So I don't know. I, you just got to deal with stuff and your temperaments will either clash with each other or they'll work out. I mean, in my case, I would definitely say something, but it didn't always work to my benefit. Paige, how about you? What was it like living with someone who wasn't a family member? Well, I'm an only child, so I never shared my space with like a sibling. Um, my parents, you know, were on the separate side of the house. So coming into it, it was just so weird to me to be like curled up in my bed, like on the computer doing homework and stuff. And someone would just walk into the room and it was their room too. And having to share like, you know, a mini fridge and a microwave and having to be used to someone else not being as neat as I was. Um, it was definitely a struggle. And Brianna and Clarissa, did you both have roommates too? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I see you giggling. Talk to me about your roommate situation. What was it like? Well, freshman year, like I said, um, I didn't know the person I was living with at all. And I'm a very trusting person. Um, so I would leave some of my stuff out. I had a credit card and I left it on my desk one day and I came back to find that my roommate stole my credit card and charged up a bunch of random charges on it and it was the day before we moved out so I never got the chance to confront her about it or ask her about it and it was that was a pretty bad experience especially for freshman year. I don't think I'm selfish or anything but it was just so so weird to come in and see that you know something I had put somewhere had been moved and it wasn't moved by me or to see that she, you know, might have opened the fridge and gotten something out that I had put in the fridge I had purchased with my own money. And I mean, my roommate wasn't bad by any means, but it was just totally, totally weird when I'm so used to putting something in one spot and it not moving until I'm the one that picks it up. And maybe if I had siblings, I would have been prepared better for that. 